Okay, so for today we're going to be talking about inscribed angles. <clears throat> and so far we've talked about central angles, and those had the vertex at the center. Whereas inscribed angles, they have their vertex is on the circle and sides or chords. of the circle. <clears throat> so if I have circle P, then I could say that angle BAC is an inscribed angle and arc BC is its intercepted arc. So what you're going to be doing is you are going to follow or find your inscribed angle and then if you were to take these two pieces and smash them together this would then be your intercepted arc. Okay. One thing that I do like to show you, <clears throat> um, actually let me, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, there is a relationship. So with a central angle, so let me at a central angle, if this was 45, then this arc also measured 45. So this was a central angle. With an inscribed angle, we're going to use that BAC again. There is a relationship, and that is if the inscribed angle is, let's say, 70, then the intercepted arc is twice the angle. So this is going to be 140. So let me write that down. The inscribed angle <clears throat> is half the intercepted arc. There's supposed to be a space there. Okay, or if you go backwards with that idea, you would say that the intercepted arc is twice the measure of the inscribed angle. So what I like to do <clears throat> is to show you that if we have this scenario and we have this one and this is let's say 70 degrees so if that's 70 degrees then what is this measure if I have the arc I know that this is going to be half that now watch what I'm going to do here with all of my different colors because this has the same intercepted arc this is going to have the same measure of 35 and I could go all the way around as long as my intercepted arc is still going to be the same thing. So all of these angles that I just drew are all going to be 35 because they have the same intercepted arc of 70. Okay. <clears throat> Let me do an example. So example one.
Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to follow the inscribed angle, and this inscribed angle goes to this intercepted arc. So these, if these were central angles, they'd be equal. But now I know that two of these equals that. So you could set it up as 31x plus 3. Um, two of those equals 192. Or you could set it up and divide 192 by 2. So either way, whichever one is easiest for you. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video, and then we'll continue um, with this with more examples. And we'll finish this example as well.